Hello YouTube, this is going to be a video of my 2001 Yamaha Vino scooter, which I just picked up from Kijiji. Uh, it runs nice, drives nice, nice little scooter. It's not as big as it looks, it's pretty small actually, if you're taller uh, than 5'10", I would say it's, first of all the weight limit's 180 pounds, second of all it's, well, it's small, like you really can't fit on it, but I fit on it because I'm 150 and 5'8", so I fit nice. But uh, yeah, if you're bigger, I would get the Zuma or another Italian scooter that's a little bigger. But this one is uh, small, but it's got the same engine as the Zuma in it. Two stroke, uh, injected, fuel, uh, oil injected engine. Um, one thing I don't like about this, it's got drum brakes in the front and the back, so it's pretty uh, old style and uh, not as quick to brake as modern uh, disc brakes. The newer uh, newer uh, Vinos, they have a, uh, a different style here where you can pull the covers off differently. And it's got a four-stroke engine instead of a two-stroke. This new one's made after 2006, I believe. But uh, these ones are uh, two strokes. Pretty simple design. Get the spark plug on the bottom. Battery from there, special battery. You only buy the Yamaha dealers. Costs like 65 bucks or something. The gas tank's accessible from the outside. You need a key for that. And they just turn the key. The oil tank, you need to open the seat and then turn the screw on that cover to get to the oil tank. Two stroke oil mix. It goes about this. I don't know if the guy modified it. I don't think the person modified it before me, but it gets up to 55 or 56 kilometers an hour flat ground, about 35 kilometers an hour up a steep hill, and it goes over 60 going downhill. Um, yeah, same features as most scooters. It's got a leather seat. It's, this one's one headlight that has high beam and low beam on it. Uh, it's got 10 inch wheels, so pretty small, but it's okay. Let's give it a start. So I'm gonna kick it first. And just kick. Starts right up, cold start. Quiet, it's amazing. Yep. Oh, good mileage on this thing. It's only got 7,028 kilometers, which is about uh, three and a half thousand miles. A little more, uh, maybe 4,000 miles on it, which is pretty nice. And I only put a little more than one kilometer on it so far since I bought it. So we got blinkers, right? Click it right. No clicking sound for some reason. I don't know if it's supposed to be clicking sound. You can see it blinking. You can see them blinking there and there, but there's no. Uh, like click sound on the way and then push in to stop left again no clicking sound it's really quiet for a two-stroke which is uh, one of the reasons I like this one actually and it's really peppy if you're light if you don't wait too much so again it's low beam and high beam back to low beam Okay, he's got a horn right here. And off switch. Now to start it electrically, brake, throttle, flip it. Okay, I need a... Sorry about that. It's, uh, I like using normally left brake and then whatever. Starts up electric, let's start, works fine. The battery's old, the battery's three years old, so it's probably gonna be replaced soon, but I think it runs good. And if we're looking at a scooter, this one has some damage, it's got like a crack there, a few scuffs on the side. But if you're looking for a scooter and you don't wait too much, and you're just going around the city, very fuel efficient, the scooter. It's peppy, picks up speed and holds it a lot better than the four stroke, these two strokes. And this is the Yamaha quality machine here. Doesn't have that much room in the storage compartment. I'll show you. This one, unlike the Zuma, you can't just turn the key. It's like most scooters, you have to put the key separately in the key thing, pick it up. It's got room for a full helmet, full size helmet. The new, the new Vinos don't have room for a full size face mask in there. And I still didn't register it yet, so I got all the paperwork there. And another good thing, if you're in Quebec, you don't need to pay insurance on 50cc scooters. If you have anything over that, you need a motorcycle license and you need to pay for insurance. 
So, again, I'll get a kickstart because I like kickstarting these things rather than electric start. It's more fun. It's a good feel on your feet. It gives you exercise. I'm not going to be uh, using it anyways. And it's a nice machine. So, if any of you are thinking about getting a scooter soon, a big CC scooter, and you don't mind this type of style of scooter, it doesn't look too feminine or childish for you and you don't mind driving around especially in this color they only made red and white and blue and white this year so I personally don't mind driving this color around but some of you might then uh, yeah it's a good deal to get this and uh, I guess good like this and I think they are in Canada 2200 new but they're those are the four strokes so if you want to get the two stroke ones you gotta 